How you guys doing? So today is another day and another blog with Barbecue Joe. Uh, that's Barbecue Joe at uh, Facebook, B-A-R-B-E-Q-U-E Joe on Facebook. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about how to make a piece of fish on a plank. Now, in the book, in the first book, it's called the Dickie Moe Portside Planked Salmon. This is just a little bit different. Not quite that same one. This one is the Drunken Sailor Almost Fallen Overboard recipe. And the reason I'm calling it the Drunken Sailor Almost Fallen Overboard recipe is that um, I have added uh, some Chardonnay, not just to the bottom of the plank to make it pliable and keep it from flaming up, but I've also added it all over the, over, over the fish for the last 15 minutes. It's been soaking in uh, this Chardonnay. Now I can use any kind of wine on this, and you can too. Personally, I like Chardonnay. I like a buttery Chardonnay to kind of give it, but any kind of white wine will actually help give it the flavor that we're looking for in this particular marinade. With that said, now what we do is we add a little bit of sea salt. And since the fish comes from the sea or from the water, we're going to give it something from its natural habitat. So we just kind of drizzle a little bit of the sea salt on top, all over. There's a little piece underneath because it's so long. And, uh, and then we put a little bit of black pepper on it. Crushed back pepper is better. And you just put it all over the top. It's just going to kind of enhance it. This is actually a sockeye. Now, sockeye comes out of Alaska, and um, this one is flown in um, on a fairly regular basis at the place where I get it. It's a little harder to get certain times of the year. This is the time of the year where I do sockeye salmon because sockeye salmon is very available this time of year. Now, uh, what I'm going to do next is really not that profound, but it is an es it's essential to do on this marinade. And that's why I just drizzle a little bit of lemon right on top. And on the piece on the bottom, we're going to do the same. And because the piece on the, is on the bottom, it's very skinny and small. It's the end. I cut it off. That one goes underneath. It's going to cook uh, a little bit faster than if it was on top of this big fat piece here. It's about an inch, inch and a quarter thick. This is a pretty big fish we're talking about. So that's what we've done. Now we've got, I'll put a little bit more lemon on it. But now what we've got is just a little smell test. It smells quite nice the way it, 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 it is right now, and it's ready to go on. And uh, what you want to think about is what kind of a plank would you use on this? Now, you can use a stronger wood like oak. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm using tonight is an oak plank. I had some oak planks that I actually cut up myself. But personally, most of the time you're going to go with cedar alder, maybe cherry, maybe hickory. I'm doing oak. I've done it before and it comes out really good. There's really no downside to doing oak. They're just, most people don't sell them. You got to go into the specialty stores and they get expensive. Now the barbecue joe planks, they're cedar being sold at 99 cent only stores here in California and Arizona right now. So that's what we've got going. I think they're in Texas too at this point. But I couldn't, they just did a reorder, so once they get into the stores, I'll be able to tell you exactly where they're all at. But I sold out of 12,000 planks, they've ordered another 15,000 or so. So I'm pretty happy about that sitch, and that sitch is a, a good sitch. So we're off to the grill, talk to you in a minute. 